Ho ho boardies, welcome to Borderline Games. I'm Gareth and this is Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, episode 42. The meaning of life. Uh, we've started the fourth class trial and established that Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building vertically. Let's continue. Uh, so Hajime's just said you must be talking about an elevator. What? Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Where the hell is this elevator anyway? the tower itself the inside of the tower is one I don't know why this is so hard for uh, these guys to get their heads around have they not seen Jonathan Creek which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator so whether you enter from strawberry hall or grape hall it all leads to the same room right So that's why we could only enter it from one side or the other. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button, it took a while for it to open. Yeah, because the elevator was moving. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like an elevator. <sighs> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator... Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? Hey, you better not be spoiling things, Neil Watchers Games. I'm on to you. And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower. They're just trying to fool us. If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Plus, after the incident, the far back door in Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? But when we entered mm. Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the Well, we'll find out in a bit if Hunter Biden's behind this. There are too many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? When you see people and things... For those that might watch the YouTube video, this that might uh, come out of left... Uh, what expression? Out of left pocket. That's just because chat is uh, talking about Hunter Biden. That's not my own opinion. I don't think Hunter Biden's behind this. What did you say? Or do I? So, let's put aside what's changed. And focus our attention on what hasn't. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. <laughs> Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? The things that didn't change when we moved between the two towers. That includes the body, the pillar, and the oil. We've been talking about that stuff for a while now. There shouldn't be anything strange about them. Not even the fact that they all moved with the elevator. Uh, the one thing they all have in common... Uh, they're all huge, they're all heavy, uh, they're all on the floor. All on the floor. I see! See! Is it safe to say that all the items on the floor didn't change? And? And? Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. Right. Just the floor moves? It's not that hard. I see! So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? What the fuck? Which means the whole room wasn't an elevator. Only the floor was. That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's like the elevator in the Disney theme parks. Is that the elevator? Um, is that a three-falling elevator? We 
talking about and on the fourth floor, um, the strawberry tower, Twilight Tower. The door on the far back wall had a great design. Then where do the different floors lead? There's a good video on technology outside, connection YouTube about that. Shout out. Just for show. Big ups. Just for show. Why was something like that necessary? So we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building's structure. Makes sense. I don't get it. <laughs> but I guess it means whoever designed this building... I'm sorry, but Akane is... Personality. ...a bit stupid. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. <laughs> Then I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. Are you talking about? <laughs> like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why? Because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? I guess so. Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... S seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Chain! The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button uh, on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? The killer destroyed the Strawberry Hall button, so we'd stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the Funhouse. <laughs> the appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction first. The Disney elevator in the Disney theme park. The elevator in the Disney theme park goes down to the Haunted Mansion, but the floor goes down, so you think the room is getting taller. Oh, and Hillary Clinton and Prince Andrew love going for pizza together. Okay, cool. Good update. And using Pizzagate. that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses and the two towers going, are actually his games? one complete vertical building. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Was Nekomaru just killed by the uh, pillars? Hold on. Not by the pillars. By the elevator with... itself. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. If that's the case, then that's totally Jonathan Creek. Have you seen the uh, episode of Jonathan Creek where he is tied to the bottom of an elevator, or we don't know it's an elevator, and it goes up and crushes him and hides him, hides the body? What a pain. It's fine already. Because wasn't there like a noise at a certain time? And if that's the, if there was a noise at a certain time, it's probably what um, Nekomaru's body... Uh, that was the noise of uh, Nekomaru's body getting stuck on the floor as it crashed into the top. Gundam, please proceed. You said earlier that Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? Uh, 
I don't remember that one. Was it more recent than the 90s series? I think it was part of the 90s series. I don't think it was one of the new ones. I didn't really watch many of those. Does the original series span into the early 2000s or did it stop at the late 90s? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? I see. Now that you mention it, I completely forgot about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically, then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? You definitely got, got a uh, truth bullet to counteract that. Um, someone's a counter, right? Wasn't that? Wasn't his sudden? Was it this? The compass's needle spun 180 degrees while it was inside the contact elevator. Yeah, so it moved slowly. So that's what we've got to counter with here, I'm guessing. Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. No, it doesn't. Come on, Gundam, think about it. Answer me, fiend. What does this mean? What does this <laughs> mean? I agree. What does this mean? If the two houses are connected vertically, the position of the tower should be the same in both houses. But in fact, when my back was facing the elevator in Grape House, the tower was on my right. And when my back was facing the elevator in Strawberry House, the tower was on my left. How can I break through this contradiction? Make your argument. Uh, Kazuichi's account is what we need, right? Where are you? There you are. If the two houses are connected vertically, the elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. Jack Hughes. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. I remember the climbing corpse episode. The woman had uh, who gets hit on the head and dies in a wardrobe episode, and the one where a policewoman kills a guy with an Assassin's Creed style wrist spike. I remember that one. Who gets caught when a fingernail from an unrelated murder she was investigated falls out of her pocket in the guy's bedroom. Yeah, they're quite convoluted, aren't they? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Do you remember the um, the one with the uh, alien skeleton that was discovered that was suspected to be haunted or something? Isn't that right, Kazuichi? Huh? Me? But come on. You used the elevator come on. while you were holding that compass not ah, that. Oops. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I was giving some dialogue today. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Rotated 180 degrees? 180 Meaning, degrees. as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. It was probably following the building. <laughs> Why does Africa be doing that? Rotated to the other side. Which means the exit would be on the opposite side once you arrived at the other house, right? I remember there being an alien episode, but I don't think I watched that one. That one was pretty good. And thanks to that, I feel like um, right side when we Jonathan Creek was like uh, headhunted by the FBI or something. Appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry House. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? Pretty I sure the thing I'm thinking of with the elevator was um, Jonathan Creek. Well, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know. Like, comment, subscribe if you're a fan of Jonathan Creek. And since the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. Uh, what happens in the pilot episode of Jonathan Creek? Also, I think uh, 
Giles from Buffy should have stayed on as the magician JC worked for, but he left after the. Is that true? I didn't even know that. That's not splendid at all. You're inhuman. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear. So I was never human to begin with. I'm not in a human. I'm different Wing. from these lowly humans. So we're done with the secret of the fun house, right? Secret so of the use. Let's start talking about the important stuff. TMNT. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru? And how'd they combine it with the pillar? <laughs> huh? You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the Octagon, you know. What I found at the Octagon. What is the Octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Oh my... I can't believe <laughs> I have to explain that now. Nagito is out of patience. As long as you know what an octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. Oh wow, uh, Anthony Stewart head, Giles, was only in the pilot. Uh, then he got the offer to go star in Buffy. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that. Probably the, the better role, right? Um, I'm sure Buffy made more money than uh, Jonathan Creek. And went on for longer, right? Um, I guess Jonathan Creek had um, Christmas specials and stuff, but... But with an eight-sided shape. I see! I see! Actually, maybe Jonathan Creek went on for longer than I'm thinking. Octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute <laughs> reserve course student, Nagito, you can fuck off. I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? <laughs> um. Ba -da -ba -ba -da boom. The place befitting of the name Octagon. It's probably. What? Uh. Okay. Here. Here. You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. Secret room surrounded by concrete in the depths of the final dead room. Uh, I think it was regular series 96 to 01. And then about 15 years worth of occasional specials after that. Yeah, I think that's right. Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided one, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. What? Eight-sided shapes. It just adds three sides, doesn't it? One, two, three, four, four. Oh, I see. I see. So it takes one at the top and makes three more. Very good, Danganronpa. That's basically the gist of it. That's dumb. The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. Okay. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? Hello, Jumbo. How's it going? That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the Octagon. The true identity of the ultimate weapon was... Learned? What do you mean? The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the Funhouse. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. What? What did we just say? Is the fun house, which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon. Are we going to have the elevator be the weapon? Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the fun house from the scenery. And then thought of a way to kill, making use of the building structure. The fun house itself is the weapon. So they killed using the building structure? 
Hmm. That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. How did they do that, though? But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. They do be taking our jobs. Taking our jibs. The fun house is the true identity of the ultimate weapon. These elevators are taking all the jobs of the serial killers out there. What does this mean? Jonathan Creek. How did the killer use that to murder Nekamaru? And... Who is the killer who did that? Let's try and get a good upskirt shot. Trial suspended. Hiya. Why, hello there. I thought of a new bad word to call Monami. Whoa, did you guys see that crash? Ooh, I can already tell I won't be pleased by this. Then let me say it right away. <laughs> I'm already used to... In oh, wrong voice. <laughs> I'm already used to insults and slander. There's no way I'll get hurt by a mere word. Mono me is a serious stuffly. What? Th that's much more straightforward than I expected. Stuffly, huh? That's not it. That's not it at all. Stupid, fat, ugly. The perfect jet stream attack incorporating all three of these would be. Ta-da! Stupidly. What? There's a fat hidden in there. Okay. Oh, how horrible. All together now. Monami <laughs> is a serious to fatly. Everyone in the chat. Let's save the progress. Trial resume. Trial resume. I'm trying to force myself to be more energetic, or else my mental state won't be able to keep up. Ugh, my heart's something like crazy. Rabbit in a nappy, rabbit in a nappy. So what? Attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! Ah, but be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. And just like I say each time, don't forget to save frequently. I will be. All right. I... I never... expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well, let's just press on ahead. <laughs> oh well. I, is it really all right to accept a situation so easily? Who's the most suspicious? I mean, that's not... No spoilers. The thing that's really important is the killer who used the building structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? <laughs> He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but... I will sincerely retract that remark. Retract? Interesting. Because you're the killer? You know, if this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods, per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. You said it, Gundam. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. It's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. <laughs> oh, Akane. Uh, Akane! You're drooling waterfalls? 
Nagito as usual. I can't tell what he's thinking. I've no idea if he's serious or not. Anyway, if the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomaru. How they killed Nekomaru. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Yeah. Nekomaru's cause of death. I guess, so it's either they're crushed by the elevator, or the other way could be that Nekomaru fell from the top. Because if he was in, he would have been in Strawberry House, um, whilst the Grape Tower was at the bottom. These sounds like crazy sentences. And he fell from the top and hit his head at the bottom. Maybe that's why? That's how? He was horribly damaged, as if he was beaten senselessly with a blunt object. If you'd fallen, you'd imagine just one hit, wouldn't you? But if he was beaten with a blunt object, it wouldn't... Uh, be a kill that utilized the building structure. So what was Nekomaru's cause of death that also utilized the building structure? So crushed by the elevator. Or oh, falling. Beaten with a blunt object, dead battery. I mean, we do have no evidence that the elevator goes all the way to the top. That's just me being influenced by Jonathan Creek, so maybe we should go with falling. I see! I see! That's it. I think he might have died from falling. Died in love. Falling in love. If the funhouse's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected, then the killer made use of its height and caused Nekomaru to die from falling. In love. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That I don't know yet. Hmm. Don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Height. Do you see? Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Exactly. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. That's why it was broken to open it? <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Jeez, that's overkill. That's a bit mm. much. But my gut is going crazy right now. Bizarro David Bowie. If Nekomaru died from falling, where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? If I'm going to reach the truth behind this instance, I need to solve that mystery next. Doom, 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 doom. Make your argument. All right. Um, right, he has his good night button. Strange feeling in tower. Oh. When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. Uh, hang on. Ah, guys. Shove off the victim from up there. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Which means the elevator uh... wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator. Okay. I need to make it clear so they understand that Nekomaru fell to his death, even if he didn't. Uh, looks like it's all up to me. When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Then. How about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hmm. Hold on! Did you forget the elevator has a sensor? As long as there's a moving object inside... I can't move if it's... If, it's, if he's pressed the button... Oh! Press the sleep button on Nekamaru. No, that's wrong! 
free. That sensor should only work if something is moving. And if they press this button, he's not going to be moving, is he? Is he, chat? If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be his sleep mode? Couldn't be. Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed. All of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? I see. So that's how... Yeah, they highlight certain words which made sense in old, old RPGs where they had uh, in-game hypertext. That doesn't really make sense these days. Did they have... Um... Oh, I see. You're talking about the orange words in the uh, in the debates. Is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about something that happened earlier? However, even if they moved the elevator Don't in mind me, I'm just talking manner, to my chat. Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Yes. That's what yes. I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Silence, pest. Now you're calling me a pest? Oh yeah, the orange words are clickable, so you can say this evidence uh, contradicts this sentence or this word. A way to create the drop inside the elevator while Nekamara is still in it. Hmm. Jackie seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? Uh, well, we had the wire, so was he tied up? If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. Oops. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? Don't interfere, that's not it. That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. That does seem suspicious. Jagree! have straight marks on it yeah the the, the longer these uh, investigation simulators go the crazier the uh, logic behind them that's certainly true that might have been where it got scraped by the wire so was he tied to the inside of the door hello jake the person is that the same wire that was tied around nekamaru the tip of that wire was tied into a loop Right, so he was he was tied on the inside, um, and then they went to the other room, and they pressed the elevator button, and as the elevator fell, the doorknob snapped after a couple of minutes, and he hit the floor. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... <laughs> if they did something like that... He would have been suspended Here for Jonathan Creek the or the game because this is Creek uh, Central. It certainly is. That's right. You're a fan he of Jonathan Creek? Jake the Persons, too. Huh? The killer tied up Mekamara with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. There we go. In Jonathan Creek was the uh, the cause of all of this uh, investigation simulation nonsense. That's right. It's all he Jonathan Creek's so fault. Well hung. <laughs> like. Very funny. Talk about dicks. The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekomaru could fall to his death. When they kill somebody else, Nekomaru seems like uh, such a difficult thing to kill. Too easy! Oh, hello. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. 
Hmm. Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Um, okay. Well, what are we going to have to counter here? New looking hammer, tripped over pillar, tipped over pillar wire, maybe broken doorknob, a lot of box alarm ring, uh, box alarm timer. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, only 32 episodes to watch before you can come back and constructively engage in the chat. Even if they Oops, hello. From a wire. Is that the one I'm supposed to use? Who knows? Oh god, oh god. There's no one in the tower Another to crazy no uh, minigame. Oh god damn it. No. I agree with what Kazuichi is wondering. It seems certain that a difference in elevation inside the tower was used to kill Nekamaru. I need to find the answers and counter uh, Kazuichi's remarks. Even if they suspended Nekamaru from a how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. Ah. There's no way they could do that. Oh no, I've run out of. Oh no. <sighs> okay, I've got so little uh, swipes to hit it with. Let's try again. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a walk, how would they make him fall? There's there no go. one in the tower Bang. to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Advance. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? No, because of his clock's alarm timer. Sleeping, oh, no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the top, but in that case... I think this still might have been the right one. The drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru inside is just impossible. End of story. Hold on, thanks to Kazuichi, I think I figured out how the killer dropped Nekomaru. Um, alright. Alright, if I use that evidence, I should be able to break through Kazuichi's remarks too. What? Nekomaru fuck Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Allow me to cut through those words. <laughs> Jacques! What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. I think you could uh, look at any Danganronpa class trial and kind of reverse engineer to get Jonathan Crate. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why, If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Yes, I would, for sure. Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekamaru probably did exactly that. And then, in order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? Hmm. They don't look like it from that. They look like they started pretty much at the end of, the, like, the center of the doorknob. But Nekomaru I'll let it slide, though, Nagito. You're not in the right mood for the right? uh, argument. He fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer, too? Well, that's probably it. <laughs> How do these characters do it? If I was standing between the pictures of two dead people, I don't think I could con concentrate on the logistics. Yeah, that wouldn't help. It's it's uh, it's handy that they're all staring straight dead forward, though, isn't it? If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. I guess that's why they had it in a circle, so that you don't, you don't get distracted. But I guess you'd see the people opposite. Oh, it's a very hard game to play. The killer didn't expect the doorknob to come off. The reason that ne even happened was because... In that case... Oh, in that case, I shall use my full power! Oh! With a fierce roar. No, it shouldn't be an. 
Nekamura put all, all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But clatter, 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 clatter. <sighs> Not yet. Here it comes. The incredible strength of one million horsepower. Go! Is it isn't creaking? If you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in here. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Subpar game. If that's really what it was. Then that's the clue Nekomaru left for us to find. I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. Do you finally understand now? Yeah. Patronizing it much. It's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. I'm a total fucking pig. Isn't that Jesus right, Christ. Miss Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so. All right, Kazuichi. No, I Entering his final form. Hey, why aren't you teasing me anymore? <laughs> this guy, he gets off on this. So thank this guy. For that alarm. Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. I wish someone would slap him. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? <laughs> it doesn't mean Nekomaru crashed straight into the floor. Oh, if he didn't hit the floor, that's how the pillar broke. Proper Jonathan Greek game would be good. They always do uh, Sherlock Holmes and they do Poirot and Miss Marple, but they don't do uh, Jonathan Greek. Uh, okay, so hang on. He collided with the pillar. I see. When Nekomaro fell to the floor, he ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Finally, the pillar. So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. See, I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right. Well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive what about it? the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. And if we map it out from there... Hold on, baby gangsta! <laughs> I'm shipping them hard. Stop calling me baby gangsta! What'd you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? You didn't check it yourself? Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because... Even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mentioned mm, it, boss so baby. I. He is a boss baby. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. And what a contradiction it is! Alright, I think that's uh, it for another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. Um, if you're new here, then I'd appreciate the follow, but if you can't spare any follows, I do not mind. Uh, I will see you next time. Have a good evening. Good night. Bye-bye.